Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from ScrapbookingWithMe.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And that is my business page. If you're not over there, please do so and um, you will see all kinds of giveaways and new news and reports and all kinds of stuff plus when I put up a new YouTube uh, video if you don't get those notifications already. Today we are finishing up doing our very last art journaling uh, piece or layout in this traveler's notebook. So this was a traveler's notebook I got many, many, many years ago, and we are just now uh, finishing it up. I'm so excited to show y'all every page that's in here, but this is the last layout, and I will show you how this came about in just a moment. Um, I did use a Jelly Roll, white Jelly Roll pen to write on that craft cardstock. I think that looks so good. I love that. So I will read this to you. I'll let you see how it all came together in my little sped up part of the video and then we'll come back and do a complete flip through of this journal. So I went from Psalm 37 uh, and 9 and Isaiah 40 and 31. Uh, Psalms 37 9 says, For evil doers shall be cut off. Think about that. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Wow. Wow, y'all. Okay, Isaiah 40 and 31, very, very well-known verse. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Wow. Great two verses I love um, about inheriting the earth, which is will be that new heaven and new earth one day that we as Bible-believing, Jesus-believing Christians will be sure to be able to live with the Lord forever and ever and all the ages as the ages roll on. We'll keep on praising Him as that old, old hymn says. I love these two verses. Uh, so I say, praise the name of Jesus at the very bottom, put my little M initial there. And then my other um, wording I put here, my thoughts on these two is just remember this, talking about these two verses. Just remember these verses. When someone speaks mean-spirited or unkind to you, keep the high road and walk by faith. And I know that that is not easy. Goodness, y'all, I know that's not easy. But Keep that high road. Think about your promises from God and remember these verses. Keep that high road. Walk by faith. You have a promise of greatness from our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen to that, right? We have a promise of greatness. And again, that is from Psalms 37, 9 and Isaiah 40, 31. And I'm going to put my date down here 3 31 and 2023 and isn't that just like the best thing ever to be ending an art journal finishing up an art journal on the very last day of a month I love that. So here is how this all came together all of my little collaging my art journaling. Y'all watch this.
All right, and then this um, Traveler's Notebook, like I said, it had all craft uh, pages in it. It is complete now. This came from uh, Paper Penguin Co. over on Etsy. That is who I buy my um, inserts from, and this one with all the craft cardstock pages, I could make my own Traveler's Notebooks, but not this well. I love how um, Dominique, that is the name of the owner over there at Paper Penguin Co. She makes some really great Traveler's Notebook inserts. I've been buying from her for years and years and years, so I'll leave her link down below. Here is our first page. We've got a few little M Scrap Busters sprinkled in through this. That was just some um, digital, and I fussy cut a little butterfly and then put one of the Scrap Buster Circle Scrap Busters in there. And then here's another just kind of collaged page like we did, like we ended up here. And I used the same white gel pen here. Uh, July 7th. Now, I don't know if that was it. I'm sure it wasn't this year. Oh, maybe it was. No, that says 2020, Melina. It had some white paint on top of it, so I thought it said 2023. So this is dating back to July 7th of 2020 was our very first entry in here. This was just decoration. This is the first entry. And then here's the next one. And I have um, YouTube videos about all of this. So if you put in art journaling at the top of my page in that search bar it, where it says search Melina Pilot's channel, you can put art journaling in there and it will pop up every one of them that I have made um, in this particular book. And a lot of my pages have some of the same themes, some of the same items on them, lots of butterflies. Because I love me some butterfly. This is one of the thickest pages and it comes from a master board. So this was all kind of master board, what I had left over from one. And then this has a lot of painting on it. Not as many words as most all of my other layouts, but lots of painting. And look at there, butterflies. Okay, this one with that um, lovely lace on both pages. Love that one. Lots of splatters. Y'all knew y'all was going to get splatters through this. This was some of my um, hand-painted flowers on book page. And not that much writing on this one, but beautiful nonetheless. And then here is a beautiful um, kind of page, side page collage. And then my um, reference is on some, looks like coffee dyed paper strips. I love that. You know, some of this I forget about. <laughs> uh, so this was May 22. Uh, this one, November of 21. So we're scooting right along. And here's a beautiful layout. And that's got just some uh, pattern paper fussy cutting and a little um, wax, I almost said wax thread, wax seal there, and some torn paper, and looks like some glamour paste, love that. Got that little butterfly up on dimensionals, so pretty, I love the stamping we did on that one. This was July of 2022. This little butterfly hanging off the edge there, love that, I love, the strips, doing the strips like this. And this I uh, topped on my typewriter, my old vintage typewriter I've got. And then look at all these butterflies throughout this whole thing. Another one, this is very grungy with um, the writing on the coffee dyed papers again. And then look at, look at that butterfly. Oh my love that and then this was watercolor kind of like that ombre watercolor that i did i demonstrated and then this one has an interactive piece so it has a little piece that comes out of that envelope there first chronicles 12. i used quite a bit of stuff from my taperlogy box on this layout so that one's cute and then that one is one we did just last week along with our Bible layout, and then today's. So that is 
the entire art journal a standard size craft paper traveler's notebook insert art journal I love it and thank y'all for sticking around and wanting to see more of this I've gotten a lot of emails and private messages and comments here on YouTube asking if I would do more art journaling and more uh, scripture journaling and Bible journaling faith based stuff I can't even say it faith based stuff and I thank y'all for your request and I will try my best to do at least two a month and um, then that way if I get three done it's going it's like oh yay she got three done instead of just two like she said so let's let's aim low a little bit and maybe we can finish high <laughs> Thank y'all for sticking around. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Y'all have a blessed day. God bless you. I love ya. Thanks for being here. Bye y'all.